Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another h bars 3 replay. So on the left side as the blue Indians, we have Lawalin Pasha. Spawn the right side as the yellow Russians, we have High Tier God. Let's see now, what natives does this land offer? We got the Usuadi Temple, which grants the Chakram Throwers, which is an AoE attack, so like Grenadiers or Hoop Throwers, I guess. Additional research is increasing your explorer hit points. Uh, rival of the New York grants increased gathering rate for all the basic, uh, oh, all food sources, I think. Including livestock. And just shock and upgrade. So, nothing too significant when it comes to these natives. They are 150 each, which is a decent grenadier, I guess. Grove Rickshaw now getting battered down by the bear. Wait, there's a bear skin for the Russian explorer. I don't. Uh, okay. Let's see the hand attack. Hand attack does. I guess it does full damage versus not. That's not class as villager. Does not stop the Grove uh, mangrove grove. I'm going down. Fun fact, mangrove, mangrove, mango uh, trees and mangroves in general consume a lot of carbon dioxide. Why am I not surprised there's a uh, bear skin for the Russians? There's a crazy bear right here, unless... I wonder, the eyes look really weird to me on the... Portrait. Does that mean that some sort of is that a person in a bear costume? Now I'm just thinking of overthinking too much. But let's take a look at each player's decks now. The Indians, they do have a uh, wood trickle there, very nice. Wood gold. Uh Dravidian martial tactics, all hand attacks do more damage, especially for Rapoots. Uh Sepoys, Sours, Camel, Camel Attack, Desert Terror. Uh, Deck Magnet Intrigue, Foreign Logging for more Wood Trickle, and Tiger Claws, Infinite Wood, more Gold, uh, Rami Swordsman, Gurkhas, Gurkhas, Royal Green Jackets, Gurkhas deal more damage for heavy infantry. Each tech at the console grants additional Gurkhas for free. Plus one villager. And let's see. Uh, British East India Company. Sepoys, Gurkhas, and Sours hit point and attack increase. Uh, range, Camel, Cavalry, uh, that's the, uh, Zambaruks, Siege Elephants, Mahab Lancers, probably butchering all these names. More Siege Elephants, more Lancers, Infinite, uh, Rockets. We got the Rockets, and the Indian got Lancers, Mercenaries. For the Russians. Going for the quartermaster. Wait. Oh wait. I was like, is this the the Indian stack? But nope. They also get this wood trickle, wood gold, uh, Shreltsy, which is uh, not very good. They're dirt cheap unit for a reason. New order regiment, which increased the hit points uh, for a couple different units. The Cossacks, Russian hand cavalry. More Cossacks, Spice Trade, Villagers gather food from uh, hunted animals and various fat and cherry orchards faster, so wild uh, food is good. Swedish Skirmishers, Vasa Allies. Oh, we do got quite a bit of aggression here. We got a uh, mangrove. Wait. That's a yellow mangrove. Did a Russo not get access to a mangrove? I don't think he can steal those. Got a a wonder going on up as well. And since we got some aggression plumbing on out, let's go ahead and take a look at here. The Russian is not eyeing for any more villagers. This wonder, I believe, is the fortress. The Agra Fort, yep, that is the fortress one. The boys, sepoys, early game, or Kirkus late game. And there is a Roost Mangrove uh, forest here. I'm not sure how that got there. 
Wait, could it have been some sort of... This is an Indian map, right? So maybe got it from a uh, treasure? A wide deploy right there. We got good enough shots here. They will not be able to do much versus the Agri Fort. That was 25 damage, able with three, three attacks. Each attack is seven. Particularly not good. Go for more Sours. The Roost players now plant some more Villagers. And get out some more Shrelzy. And I'm gonna gun down some of these Villagers now. The... Do regular damage versus Villagers. Getting good damage there. Another Villager from this down. Very nice. Another strip is available. And now it's going for the Cossacks. Do not have some Sours been pulled in the field. It's got some Musketeers, and but they do both do less damage versus uh, Cavalry, which is still so they do go from six damage probably down to five, maybe even four, depending on how the Randy goes. He's trying to go towards the blockhouse, but there's probably enough Chelsea here to deal with it. Fortress now drawing some fire. The bear is bearing a lot of damage. Another Shrelzy going down to take out one of the camels. Going for the sh uh, Cossacks about to get popped out. Cossacks do just good damage. And it looks like these monkeys got aggravated. Most Shrelzy has gone down. He's getting out more Shrelzy as well as Hunty or Steel Traps. Got some Sepoy here. Sepoys do both damage in melee against the Cossacks. Shrelzy advancing forward in range of the fortress. It's getting some good shots onto them. Let's take out one of the Sepoys there. Sepoys trying to engage the Cossacks in the melee. The Cossacks are just falling back with the Kirk uh, Schultz engage. And the Cossacks have gone down, going for some now uh, the Musketeers. An affordable Musketeer, the Recruits. Recruits? Recruits. Ruts. Rec Ruts. I'm probably butchering, butchering that. The Rograts. Let's have both these northern temples here. Cook out some chakram throwers. And let's take a look at the rest of the cards since we've got a moment downtime. We've got more crates, more Shrelzy. All your Shrelzy turned for turn the musketeer ones. Shrelzy attack and hit points increase. Uh, more recruits. The cavalry combat, it's all cavalry attack and hit points increase. The Sovat notably, notably increases your melee damage. Uh, of cavalry archers, Shrelzy and Portrix. Increasing it by four, these are the Shrelzy. So increasing from six to ten. Uh, Falconets, Hired Pandurs, Falcon Skirmishers, and Recruits, and the Northern Musketeers. Northern Musketeers build, uh, sets build limit to minus one. Wait. Sets build limit to minus one. What does that even mean? Does that mean infinitely available? Veteran Oldenburg's status active, Royal Guard Oldenburg's active, heavy artillery, uh, Tsar cannons. They'll just trying to go on the camp underneath the car, not kept them trying to follow them, and of course the factory wagons and the toy soldiers. Chelsea are classified as a skirmisher, not a musketeer, so that's my mistake. Russian right now has 23 villagers. The Eth the uh, Egyptian the uh, I kept on when I say Egyptian Ethiopians. The Indians have 20 villagers. So he has got a good number of kills there. Let's sign for more sours. They will be in the building the front line as well. And the Rus has obtained a pair of trading posts down south as well. This uh, 
explorer. I don't think he's actually down. I think that's just an idle animation, or maybe he is down. Like, uh, he may be down. I also can't tell. He's at full health, suggesting he's not down. But he maybe is down there. Not sure. It could be some sort of idle animation. I don't know if this game has idle animations like that. The Russian's not eyeing for actually this other trade post. He actually didn't have it. Cossacks are now roaming around down south, eyeing to find some villagers. And it looks like the Ottomans were select there. And now do got age three now coming out for the Russians or have been already pulled by the Russians. The Indians are not going to age up anytime soon. And the Russians eyeing for a good amount of trade. He's actually almost ready to get out a not trade monopoly victory. He has most of the northern uh, trade posts. You can probably start building both of those and then hit the button to start the Monopoly because you need three out of the five and having those being built will make it so he has all five of them. Rumble's now being advanced on four. Sauer's trying to get into Cossacks. Strelps ain't falling on back. Got a good number of purpose here. The Indian Skirmisher. As well as a handful of the Ottoman zaps These folks need to fall back. The Cossacks now rushing on forge. They should hit those uh, Burkas if they can. C4 is not a good item for them to hit. These recruits are the Musketeers. They do both save for uh, cavalry and melee. Russian sign for more uh, shipments. Chelsea, 19 Chelsea have been brought in as well as getting some more of the recruits. Recruits have been on the field. Trying to draw them away. Chelsea, actually, World looks like they were canceled. Going to the Falcon Nets now. Building a backline block house there because it's going to just let this stuff go down. Indians not eyeing for aging up, getting out some more sours. Gotovka. So, militia men now point of view, trying to deal the sours that those are really exposed. Definitely need to save these falconets. Sauros to destroy one, and that's a big problem. He does only get one hit on them. He does save the Falcon Nets. Very important in the next upcoming engagement. Or the Musketeers being pulled on the field now. And now we've got the shipment of Schultz being brought in as well. He has a decent four fence force here, but these Falcon Nets should not be advanced forward. They need more escort. More C4 is being blown on the field. Rush Explorer is moving around. We could go for another sh uh, group of Streltsy out. Just get a good number of Streltsy. Trim of Streltsy is like. No, it does cancel it. I have more of the Musketeers instead. Gotov. Because? Psyche is eyeing for more villagers, going for the camel attack now, as well as more Sawars. Over here, more villagers, more of the musketeers. You now have the trade carp now being researched. Trying to push this way forward, trying to get some good engagement. Falconets do outrange the fort. 
Actually, no, the fork has the same range as these, uh, Balkanets. And now the Sours... Oh, no, these are the anti... Uh, artillery... Nope, these guys don't actually have anti artillery like, uh, Dragoons. Balkanets engaging the Fortress. The Fortress damage actually is not that great. Only 25 damage. It may look impressive, but it's really not. Does have decent rate of fire, though. Falconess will see some fire there. Falconess will see start firing, getting it more consistently. And now it's going to take out these trading posts now. Which I'm so surprised he didn't actually upgrade them to the uh, Iron Coach. Uh, no, he already has Stagecoach. He does take out the Fortress there. There goes that landmark. Indian player is not high in advanced next age. Does have a lot of food, decent amount of wood. Maybe gets to spend those resources. So maybe want to start focusing on putting out some gold. He can't get out these northern trading posts as so his teammate or his opponent has them. Now the trading post is under fire from the camels. I've got a uh, coin being clicked up there. This coin mine is now being really focused out. He's eyeing for the next age. Or eyeing for more military units. Because I see quite military units there. And going for a desert terror. Now we got the veteran recruits being pulled on out. being brought in into trade as well. He does get a couple, get a blockhouse and tents that are being built over here. A number of villagers here trying to collect the local wildlife, which is important, so needs to keep this force here. We got the mass camel force advancing forward. The recruits are going to be able to defend themselves against this force. So I think the... That, but it has been number of as well. Villagers look inside of the blockhouse. This force... Does cancel the town center there. And his force actually on a counterattack instead. The Indians not on advanced next age. Let's have quite a bit of resource stock caught up for the next age. Camels falling back. Maybe we'll get a good engagement here. Veteran recruits could get some good damage there. Falconets are very exposed. Falconets are going to get ripped apart. Falcon that for the Stroll Sisters fire away. So is the militia men. The camels do get forced back. Does find another blockhouse garrison. Does go and start rebuilding town center down here. No, that's artillery foundry. Why are those a mist button? Cavalry archers being pulled on the field. Cavalry archers, I believe, are good versus other cavalry. They're the they're good versus heavy cav. Which these zombrocks are classified as range cav, so they'll classify as light cav. They do even more dangerous to heavy cav, which the roots are not been pulled on the field. The sours are classified as heavy cav. Готов. Looks like the Indians just ended their relationships with somebody. Got Malhawk Lance being pulled on the field, and now he's not eyeing to go to H up. He's just trying to 
for any personal fields who doesn't die. Just also has no flag at the moment. I am for now the discipline C poise. The units are pushing forward. They're trying to overrun the Falconets. Nope, they're not hitting the Falconets at the moment. The Ruse player does back on all the same Falconets. Their recruits are in melee mode. They need to stop in melee mode and start just in shooting mode. So, uh, Sour's advance and force may hit the Falconets, but good numbers are going down. So I'm starting to engage in the melee. One of the Falconets is slowly being whittled down. One Falconet does go down, the other one is still alive. Okay, it does have full health for the moment as well. And also the Russian army does go down. I think him being in melee mode and not actually melee attacking was a big problem there. More veteran cavalry archers being pulled on the field. He's going to quickly rebuild an army. Let's get out some more recruits. He does have another counselor bullet out here. I'm not sure what these cavalry archers are trying to do. They just get annihilated there. While he does have two town centers, he's not maintaining two town uh, cues of production at the moment. It is actually a little bit expensive, so they pull on groups. There we go. Now he is. Sort of. Bruce is now eyeing for more falconets. Some advance on four. The Falcon is quick and good engagement. Recruits need to make sure those uh, Mahat Lancers get engaged. They do pull in the same versus infantry, less than versus enemy infantry, such as these uh, recruits. Falcon is need to hit these uh, sepoys. They get a good hit on the sepoys. One of them is trying to hit the Falcon S. That one Falcon S does go down. Let's take out the old. Nope, there's still one elephant remaining. The cavalry is quick hit it. This elephant's down to 6 health, that's been cut down by the blockhouse. Multiple falconets now pulled out over here. That should be enough to hit this force. And make sure it doesn't hit the explorer, Sanjay. Good damage there. Bruce does have one shipment available. He could eye to get out a good number of Shrultzy on the field and then eye for that. Instead he's eyeing for Shrultzy combat. More Falcon has been pulling a few. The Indian is eyeing for a large number of uh This one's sours. We're gonna run these uh, artillery pieces. One does get destroyed there. The siege elephants are an anti-siege weapon. They're not meant to hit infantry like other siege weapons, they're purely meant to be a, like a mounted culver. All those falconets do go down. More cavalry archers being pulled on the field. And there goes that uh, structure. They also, not only they're a culvern, they're also still anti structure as well. So they're meant to be just purely a uh, support unit, not necessarily uh, a uh, fighting unit. Uh, cavalry archers are trying to push forward. They do go into San Francisco's artillery. But they're not hitting the elephants right now, they're hitting that Spurka. Cavalry is now running around. Up north there's a blue town center up here. have a massive arm in the field. He did get out uh, quite a bit of elephants. He did actually advance the next age. I wasn't paying attention. His landmark cycle over here, which is 
delivers units and can train massive bonding units with enhanced with enhanced units. So he's getting out some paw does deployed on the field. We got some uh, red coats deployed on the field in blue colors. Does take out the falcon net that was there to support them. He's doing his trying to get killed off. He, anyone get out? Oh, I don't say. Anyone get out more units? Well, that's gonna be a no shit thing. More Strelsey in front of the field. He does, of course, get Strelsey combat, which does help him out a little bit. But still not too great. After all, they're meant to be. They're meant to die. Taking out more Strelsey, more cavalry archers in the field. He's supposed to point out less of the heavy cav. These Haldas are. A light cavalry, the ranged light cavalry. So these uh, veteran cavalry archers will not be used for versus them. Though they'll still be used for trying to hit those uh, elephant archers, or it looks like they're trying to hit the Gurkhas. And the Roost player does uh, cast a GG. This is Anagrade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.